Excellent. This little guy right here you should remember from class the other day. These are your electron energy levels. Yay, energy levels. Most of you had that little aha moment where you became super pro at this, and that's awesome. Some of you did not have that moment. That's less awesome, but that's why you're here, checking out this video. This was your diagonal rule. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Diagonal rule. And we call it diagonal rule because it's the one with all those diagonal lines. But where are the diagonal lines? Well, let's add them. Well, there they are, as if by some sort of sorcery slash editing magic, they appeared out of nowhere. Now, besides looking fancy, I picked different colors for a reason. They follow the rainbow. Why do they follow the rainbow? Because that's the order we fill them. Now, in our next lesson, we're going to learn about the three rules that govern why we fill them this way. But for today, you just have to know, you fill 1s, then you move to s2, then you go to 2p, then your 3s, then to 3p, 4s, back to 3d, 4p, 5s, so on and so forth. If you guys can make it past the 4s to 3d transition without getting confused, perfect. You can do the entire table. Most of you in class were able to do that little challenge one I made for you, no problem, so go us. Those of you that didn't, hopefully after this video you got it. Now, before we go any further, we have to talk about these orbitals. Anything in these s orbitals can only hold two electrons. Two. So 1s can hold two, 2s can hold two, 3s can hold two, 7s can only hold two. If you have more than two electrons, you cannot stuff them into this subshell. That's just your s's. What about those p orbitals? They hold six electrons each. So here holds two. Here holds six. The d's, give it a second. Now these d orbitals, they hold ten electrons. Ten. And then the f's, they're the very last ones. They hold fourteen. For those of you that are visual rather than auditory, here's your little note. F orbitals hold 14 electrons. Now, the next step. Back to those diagonal lines. I told you they were numbered very specifically, and this is why. Oops. There we go. They're numbered this way because this is the order that you fill them. You start up here at the top at 1s. You go down the diagonal line. 1s, which holds two electrons. So after you have your second electron and you have a third, go to number two, your orange line, which in the rainbow comes after red. You hit 2s, so fill your 2s. That can hold another two electrons because it's an s. If we have more than that, go to your number three. The first energy level you hit is 2p. That one can hold up to six. So, so far we have two, plus two is four, plus another 6 is 10 electrons. So the entire first two periods worth of electrons, those first two rows fit in these three energy levels. After that, once you get beyond neon and you hit sodium, boom, you go to your next energy level. Just follow your diagonal line. As you finish each line, move to the next color. Next line, next color, next line, all the way down to the end. It's that simple. Most of you in class seem to get that. Now we're going to do a little bit of practice just to see how pro we are. Practice. We did this in class. We're going to switch to the quill because we so fancy. Fancy. Let's get a little bit of practice going. Okay, so we're going to start off simple. Let's use... Well, we already talked about sodium, so let's use sodium. Sodium has 11 electrons. So start at the beginning. 1s, and s's can hold 2 electrons, so 1s, 2. This one here is your quantum number, and this is your number of electrons. Again, pretty simple. Now, we only have 2 electrons, but we need, oops, that shouldn't be a 1, that should be a minus. Apparently fancy quill doesn't make us any smarter. Okay. So we've only used up two, so go to your next energy level. 
2, whoop, 2, S, and again, it's still an S, so it can only hold 2. We're not done yet, we've only got 4, so end of the line, go to the next one, 2, P, 2, P, and P's can only hold 6, but we still need 7, so we need to fill up the P, 6, and move on to the next level which would be 3s, that comes from right here, and we only have one electron left. A good way to check to see if you've done this correctly is these numbers, 2, 2, 6, and 1, should add up to your number of electrons. So 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 6 is 10, plus 1 is 11. This right here is your electron. We can do a better line than that. This is a better line. This is your electron configuration of sodium. Now that's a pretty simple element. Now we're going to do a very large element, and it's the exact same process. It just takes a little longer, but it's no more difficult. But because we need the space, we're going to switch back to a pencil. This time we're going to do a fairly large element. Let's do tungsten with atomic number 74, meaning it has 74 electrons. Again, just start at the beginning. So we're going to have 1, S, 2, because it can only hold 2. Next, 2, S, 2. Following our diagonals, we've already used the 1. Now we're in the 2. It's full, so now we go to the 3. 2, P, 6, full. Go to the next guy. 3, S. Now we're back to an S, so it can only hold 2 electrons. So 3, S, 2. We're done. Go to the next line. 3, P. P's can hold 6. And then we're at 4S. 4S. Doesn't matter what this big number at the beginning is. Your quantum number doesn't affect how many electrons can fit in there. It's an S. It still only holds 2. Then after 4S, you hop back to your next line. 3D. It's okay that we're going back a number. 3D. Now D's can hold... 10. We're not there yet, so we'll go to 4P. 4P. P's can hold 6. 5S can hold 2. Okay, we're out of space, so we're going to go to the next line. And we're going to use this as an opportunity to check how many electrons we've used. So 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36, 38, let's make a little notation, 38 electrons. So we're barely halfway. Let's keep going. After 5s, go to your next line, 4d, and d's can hold 10. Keep going. After 4d, 5p, and p can hold 6. Now, if I've done my math correctly, that should put us at 64. Nope, 54. I did not do that correctly. So 6s. We're getting closer. 6s. 2, because it can still only hold 2. And then your next line. We're in an f orbital. We haven't done that yet. No panic. F's, same thing. They just hold 14. So 4f, 14. Okay, let's do another check. So 38, 48, 54, 56, 70. Ooh, we're so close. So after 4F, 5D, 5D, and we were at 70, so we only need 4. This big guy right here, that's your electron configuration for tungsten. All you do is just follow this. Oops, should have been crossing that off as we went. We used all the way up to our seventh line. We only got to the D, and we didn't have to fill it, so we stopped right there. So in the next lesson, like I said, we're going to be learning about why it's 2s and 6s and 10s and 14s, and why we go diagonally instead of across or anything like that. And maybe I'll even show you the way I learned how to do this, which I find to be a little easier, but, you know, Whatever works, works.